In my introduction to bookbinding adhesives video, I tried to answer the question of whether Elmer's glue was suitable for bookbinding. My answer was that as best I could tell, Elmer's school glue was a PVA glue and was probably pH neutral and I couldn't see any reason why not to use it, despite having never used it myself. Until that point, all the feedback was from people wanting to use Elmer's. After the video, I got comments suggesting it wasn't such a good glue for bookbinding and that C. Lem and Jennifer rated it lowly. Giving advice on something I've never actually used is clearly a bad idea, so I thought I just had to take Elmer's glue for a spin. I'd been led to believe that Elmer's white school glue was PVA based. The small bottle I bought at the supermarket was $8 which by weight is more expensive than the fancy EVA I use, but I do buy the EVA in bulk. Anyway, I expected the Elmer's to behave like a glue. Tack and dry fast, forms a surface film, and strong adhesion between items being joined, and unlikely to be reversible with water after dry. Assuming it's a PVA and an emulsion which is prone to settling, I give it a good stir or shake before putting some in a jar for ease of use. The first test I'll do is to stick a light card, a copy of paper and a nice toothy paper to some grey board. My expectation was that in a short period of time it would have tacked sufficiently that I would damage the materials trying to separate them. The reality was that it had not tacked as strongly as I would have liked in a glue. but it was getting close as indicated by some surface fibre damage with the toothy paper. I glued them back down and tried gluing a piece of book cloth to the board. Again, it did not tack as fast as I would have liked for a glue, but there was no slip. If I wanted to reposition the cloth, it had to be pulled off and moved. It took less than a minute to do the book cloth test, and then I tried to remove the paper again. In that time, the Elmer's had dried sufficiently that the glue join was stronger than the materials being joined, and they could not be separated without major damage. Next, I tried covering a board. Covering board is something I like to do quickly. I want the turn-ins to tack fast, so I don't have to spend time mucking around with them. It worked okay, but I had to hold the turn-ins in position longer than I wanted, but not long enough that it was a deal breaker. The big use of glue is on the spine of books. It's common to use your fingers to rub synthetic glue into the irregularities of the spine of a book. Straight away I noticed a very different feel and look of the Elmer's and the PVA's and EVA's I'm familiar with. The Elmer's was translucent and didn't have much body to it. Like the difference between a nice full fat yogurt and a thickened fat free yogurt. After the elm was dried on the spine of the book, I was surprised there was almost nothing there compared to the significant plastic looking film left by PVA and EVA. Still, on testing it seemed very durable and I was not able to make the spine fail even with rough handling.
I did one more test on the spine, and that was to use the Elmers to line the spine with paper. It seemed to work fine, and even with some very rough handling, I couldn't get it to fail. I also put a simple film of PVA, EVA and Elmer's on some book cloth to see what it would dry to and to see how each of them reversed. The first thing I noticed was that the Elmer's dried very slowly compared to the PVA and EVA and once it was dry it did not leave the same substantial film of the PVA and EVA. I used some methyl cellulose to try and reverse each of them and was able to completely remove all of them which makes me wonder if the craft PVA I used in the test was actually an EVA. The Elmer's was removed very easily. The final test I did was to try making tearaway pads with it. I used two coats and it worked fine. The thing I'm really disliking about Elmer's white school glue is how Elmer's provides no information about it. I think it's an EVA mix with a paste type adhesive, maybe a dextrin based one, which explains why it doesn't tack very fast and the lack of body once it's dried. I wouldn't consider it a glue, but rather a mix. I found some of the older MSDSs that indicated a few years back it had a pH between 4.5 and 5.5, and and more acidic than I would have guessed. But I think this also indicates the formulation changes fairly rapidly with time, which is a bad thing for a bookbinding adhesive. If one Saturday afternoon you get the urge to try making some books, then go ahead and use what you have at home, including Elmer's White School Glue. I don't recommend Elmer's Glue All, which is even more acidic and seems to be aimed at craft with wooden plastic. But if you're still making books a month later, it's time to invest in a quality PVA, preferably one from a bookbinding supplier. As always, I really appreciate you hitting the like button. If you're able and want to, you can support the making of more videos like this through Patreon or with a one-off contribution, and the details are in the description below. To find videos I've made on specific topics or other projects, the best place to go is the DAS Bookbinding Video Guide. It's the index to the channel. If you want to be notified of my future videos, please hit the subscribe button and select the notification bell. Until next time, Cheerio!